Well, Joyce, we are outside of Swedish Hospital in Edmonds, their branch up here, a hospital like many around the state that will be on the front lines as these cases continue to grow. It is a math problem, and we're going to show you some of the numbers. How much trouble are we in? This is the state's risk assessment chart. It's a benchmark. The darker red, the more trouble your county is in. The state averaging 162 newly diagnosed cases over a two-week period. It should be 25. Pierce County standing out at 170. King at 160. Snohomish 149. There are more tests being administered, but the percent that are positive considered critical. Above 2% is of concern. King is at 4.2%, Snohomish 6.6, Pierce 6.8, Pacific County is at 12, Clark near Portland almost 14. Then realize these numbers are a week old. The epidemiological curve for hospitalization starting to push the spike from the spring, but not quite there yet, but it's following the massive spike in confirmed cases. According to the University of Washington's Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation, we have choices in our state. The red line projecting nearly 115 daily deaths by February 22nd if we kept easing restrictions. If 95% of us used masks, as little as 36 deaths a day by mid-February. Or the projected peak of nearly 62 deaths in early February. This graphic does not yet incorporate the governor's latest restrictions. Take ICU beds. We're good now, but IMHE's best projection is that we would need nearly 794 intensive care beds by the second week of February, well over double what's available in hospitals now. So again, that's all part of it. Do we have the infrastructure? Also, do we have the staff, the doctors, the nurses, other personnel to make this all work, even at big hospitals like this one? Will we have to have more field hospitals? But well, we got some new numbers out of Pierce County Health today. They're saying their daily numbers of new COVID cases, 218. Live in Edmonds, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Thank you, Glenn.